What is up, you guys? It's y'all favorite Tarot wow. Reader, and wow. I am back with another read. Okay, honey, period. Period, but I am taking parts from the readings. You guys can cash at me at Money Sign Caprice Cooks. You can also email me or Apple Pay me at Caprice Cooks at iCloud.com. All right, y'all. All right. I work on energy. Energy is fluid. So this could be about you. This could be about the person that you're thinking about or anybody think about you. Okay, also, time is an illusion. So this could be about the past, the present, or the future, but somehow it's affecting you right now. All right. It's 11.48 a.m. and it is 6.17 on my stove. Feel free to look up any angel numbers mentioned in this video, sis. All right, so Spirit Guys is in a master. So family, Twin Flame family, please be here with me at this time, helping me receive a message to deliver <laughs> to deliver to my Pisces for March 1st through the 7th. I don't know why we Yeah, I feel like somebody trying to heal you. Pisces, it could be. Virgo just wanted to pop out with the with the Pisces card. Okay. Okay, you could be dealing with the Virgo. Talk English, girl. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all, I feel like y'all are turning into the alchemist. Like, this is you no longer analyzing yourself, no longer being hard on yourself. It's kind of like, I don't even know we, why we try. We, I guess we could never be. This is you admitting to yourself that you and the person you thought was your divine masculine is not going to be together, Pisces. This is you realizing that you and your mama just never going to get along. This is you realizing that you and your sister is just never going to get along. And you and your best friend just can't be best friends no more, sis. This is like literally, only thing you need to be focusing on is your craft. Only thing you need to be focusing on is your love life. Is the things that you have going on in life. Is I said it's your love life. I didn't even mean to say that. I meant like your work life. Like maybe you don't need to be focused on your love life because your work life is giving you enough oomph. Like I'm hearing oomph, oomph, like oomph. Okay. But yeah, y'all. So yeah, we got the Libra card here. We got the semi sex towel and we got the regular sex towel. So this is kind of like you going from semi to regular. So this is kind of like you going from like to, 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 this is you going from a motherfucking princess to a queen. This is you like tapping into some spiritual rank. This is you coming into some enlightenment. I feel like this is you coming into a complex situation like you know maybe you and somebody are meant to be together but it's complicated or maybe you need to focus on work but you want to move different states or different towns or something. It's kind of a sense of like you wanting to do more or you wanting to have more or feel better but it kind of to me feels like you don't know how to make it happen or you can't bring it into fruition or something like that um I also feel like some of your ideas aren't able to come into fruition because like you don't know how to get them started um you don't know how to allow yourself to just accept this new opportunity it feels kind of like you're scared of it what it's kind of like you got it like i feel like you got all the tools like you got the magic wand i'm hearing like um somebody is into like magic or something or doing something with their hands i feel like with this car I'm, I'm being guided to the hands like i feel like there's a sense of somebody needed to cover their hands wear gloves if you've been getting sick a lot i feel did you just what you just say huh what what y'all feel like she's saying because i feel like what <laughs> like if y'all can hear her i don't know but she's saying a, i think a bad word <laughs> but i don't know for sure so i ain't even gonna she ain't even in trouble listen put the work in. it's like no nine to five since you putting the work in for your reputation like when i tell you you doing like five six videos a day like you getting the videos out there sis like you you working the pole like sis you out here you just doing you like hello i feel like i got a lawyer up in here i got a marketing person up in here I feel like this is also somebody who like plays games with kids at like a jump house or like somebody works at like Chuck E. Cheese or some kind of like kids place. But I feel like this is a sense of like you got it, girl. Like you are a snowflake. Like four, four, four. Thank you, Cinnamon Masters. Like somebody also has like Japanese. Be quiet. Somebody also has like Japanese or Chinese or something like that roots. I feel like somebody is also learning a different language, Pisces. Somebody could be tapping into their galactic roots. So if you are a Syrian alien like me, 
um, sometimes you can look up like Syrian alien like light worker language and you'll you'll find it but yeah there are different languages that I feel like maybe you're tapping into maybe you you didn't realize like you you've been like for some reason um yesterday while I was up in the tub for some reason I went like this I don't know why but I went like Like, I was doing that, and then I was like, wait, I don't even want to do it because I feel like it looks weird. But, like, mm, and, like, the vibration 33, thank you, Ascended Masters. Like, I just, I kept doing that, and I kept, like, moving my mouth different ways and, like, feeling different vibrations within my body. And just the vibration from going, like, mm, Like, every sound has a frequency, so I feel like whatever sounds that you make, five, 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 think your cinema masters are going to be different from the sounds that I make. Well, your hands stinky, what? What? Stinky. Your nails dirty, don't, uh, I don't know what, <laughs> uh, uh, but, um. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of a sense of like getting in tune with your body, getting in tune with self. Be a mindful of like the people that you touch, the things that you touch. I feel like if you got old clothes from an ex in your house, sis, that ex is keeping tabs on you through those clothes. So every time you wear them, he can smell you. It's like he get a whiff of you and then that makes him think about you and then that makes you think about him. Because it's like everybody that you come in contact with, I want you to know they're powerful too. You know, just because we're we're light workers and stuff like that, I feel like everybody has power. You know, no matter what that power is, everybody has power. So it's kind of like just because you know you know something, it doesn't mean that other people don't know that same stuff. So it's a sense of kind of like the same ideas that you have, other people are gonna have too. This is you not getting down on yourself about doing the same exact thing as somebody else. You know, you wanting to open up a hair company or a lash company, but you being like, well, so many people already got that, so, so what? They name in what your name is, okay? They ain't moving how you move, and they work at the game how yours is, and you don't even have to bash other people 1155. You don't have to put anybody else down in order to lift yourself up, but I just feel like nobody is you. Nobody is at the level that you're at. Nobody has accomplished what you have accomplished. Nobody has done what you have done. So it's kind of like at this point, like, you know, at this point, it's just kind of like it is what it is. But yeah, y'all, so let's go ahead and tap into what's going on for my Pisces. Honestly, so I feel like somebody is needing to be honest within a relationship. Um, I feel like somebody is trying to pursue a relationship or continue a relationship, make a relationship keep going. I feel like you can allow this relationship to flourish, even if you, even if little problems are arising. I feel like it's it's a part of growing pains. I feel like allow those problems to arise so that they can come in and then you can heal them, or so that they can come in and then you can realize that this is not the person for you. Either way. Don't doubt yourself, you know. If something is for you, it's going to be for you. And if it's not, then it won't be. However, whatever adversity you're going through, you need to understand that this is ushering in new opportunities, you know. This is ushering in new blessings. At some point, some things in your life have to be ridded. They have to be gotten rid of. You know, they have to. I feel like you're very indecisive about, you know, people you should cut off, things you should cut off, a job that you should leave. But I feel like it's a sense of, like, you needing to create an empire. You needing to stop investing in other people's businesses, 909, and invest in yourself. Whatever it is that you do, whether it be, I heard somebody could create fake press-on nails, and they're trying to get them in the dollar store, they're trying to get them into stores, since you can do it, like, 100% for sure. It's a sense of kind of, like, all the ideas that you're getting right now, pay attention to, make sure that you're writing them down. I feel like I could be talking to my Keisha, but this is a sense of kind of, like, making sure 100% that you are, oh, she is a Pisces. 
period okay i'm gonna send this to her but this is like a hundred percent knowing within your heart knowing within your soul that you have something to do knowing that there there is some type of reputation or some type of career that has been calling you i feel like it's a spiritual career that has been calling you that has been pulling you that has been opening out its arms like waiting for you to grasp onto this opportunity however with this mystic card here i feel like you've been a little bit scared of the unknown or it's kind of like because because you don't know what to expect because you don't know what to expect i feel like you're scared i also feel like perseverance like you're looking at fights and arguments or problems within a relationship as red flags when honestly you should be looking at them as new opportunities to grow towards each other and to grow with each other you know you have to use your discernment and i feel like that's where the indecision is coming from 33 thank you ascended masters you are in balance within yourself you don't know yourself with the mystic card here you're still trying to find yourself and because you're still trying to find yourself there's a sense of like not being able to trust the information that you're already receiving right so if you're getting ideas i feel like you're not trusting this you know, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. I feel like this is you, like, grieving something. You know, this is grieving an old way of being and being like, well, I'm going to be a better you. I'm going to be better. You know, putting the pieces back together just to pull them back apart. Realizing that sometimes a coming together always doesn't always mean a permanent solution. Sometimes God can usher people back into your life as tests to make sure that you are prepared and ready to ascend to the next level. You know, God will send a person back during Mercury retrograde to see if you have really learned the lessons from that person. And if you have, then you'll notice right off the bat, you know, know if this person is in your life for this reason or that reason you know there will be no indecision because at that point you're going to trust yourself 1133 you're going to trust yourself and your intuition enough to use your discernment it's like she make you want to call your nigga up and say hey what's good so I feel like there was like a lustful situation where it's kind of like you know maybe somebody acted on lust maybe somebody broke up with you due to being lustful over another person it's like you thought back to a better you where you knew you deserved better, where you knew that this person was treating you wrong, or where you knew that you believed in yourself and you knew that you could bring this dream into fruition. But it's kind of like, one time for my LA sisters, one time for my LA hoes, this is you realizing that there are two different type of women, two different type of men, two different type of people. You know, the people who are going to walk into light and the people who are going to walk along darkness. You know, walk alongside darkness. It's kind of like they're not walking in it. I don't believe they're walking in it because I don't believe God put anybody here to walk completely into darkness, you know. But I feel like they're walking alongside of it. And it's kind of like if you don't make a choice, if you don't make a decision, then that means you're walking alongside darkness. You know, if you don't know God, it's not saying that, you know, you not knowing God is okay. It's more so saying like if you don't know God, but you know dark. <laughs> like, it's just kind of like, it's like the time is now. The evolution is now. It's 2020. We are literally in a portal. You know, it's 222. We are literally in a portal. You know, we are in a portal of self-awareness. We are becoming aware of our gifts. Our gifts are being heightened. Our DNA is being upgraded. You know, things about us are being revealed to us. Our shadow side being revealed to us. You know, we're noticing little things about us that are toxic, that are needing to be healed, that are maybe ready to be purged out of our system. You know, this is getting down to the heart of the matter, getting down to the root of a problem. You know, this is literally looking at every problem like I got a bruise on my leg and being like, hmm, okay, well, let me retrace my steps to remember how I got this bruise instead of just being like, oh, okay, well, I don't know how I got it, but I got it. Because I feel like you need to ask yourself, what was I doing in that moment that I hit myself and that I hurt myself? What was I thinking about? You know, what was going on at that moment? What was God reminding me of? What is this bruise a symbol of? What does it look like? You know, this is your you asking yourself questions and allowing yourself to grow. Allowing yourself to be a star. Allowing yourself to be exactly who you are, exactly how you are. You know? Not allowing past relationships to stop you from going towards a new one. You know, this is you persevering through relationship, through relationship, through relationship. You know, still knowing that you are determined to find love and be loved. You know, knowing that you are worthy of love. Knowing that you are deserving of love. You know, knowing that you are deserving and worthy of closeness. 
a vulnerability to be vulnerable with somebody to be open with, up with somebody you know if this is a best friend who is a libra or something like that or a virgo i feel like it's a sense of kind of like needing to open up to them more needing to be honest with them more about yourself about your journey about your spirituality hey stop it Stop this. You cussing? Huh? You cussing? No, I ain't cuss. You cuss. <laughs> can I, can I, Say, can I have it, please? Can I have it? Yes. But yeah, this is kind of like making people ask for your energy. Making people real life um, speak their true intentions as soon as they come to you. You know? This is no longer allowing people to sugarcoat things. This is no longer allowing people to just run away with their assumptions of you or run away with your heart and your love and your attention and your guidance. This is like, you're not running away with shit. I'm, I'm here for color girls. It's 12.03. Somebody just ran away with all of my stuff. I gotta look up that poem. That's what this is gonna be titled. But yeah, Pisces, this is no longer allowing people well, to just take, 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 hey, you know? Well. This is you taking your power back, taking back your responsibility of self, you know? Having that self-love, having that guidance, having those opportunities. You know, opening yourself up to new opportunities, deep emotional healing. Open yourself, opening up yourself to healing. You know, healing deep wounds that maybe you thought were erased that weren't. You know, loving on you, appreciating you, being kind to you. You know, I feel like this is all a part of the journey. This is all a part of the process, you know. I feel like there's a sense of like needing to tap into self, needing to tap into self-love, needing to tap into abundance and care for yourself. You know, needing to find that self-love journey, needing to go on that self-love journey, needing to respect yourself and honor yourself and, you know, get back into the commitment to your journey. You know, no longer feeling like, damn, I'm sad, but that's a bad thing. This is tapping into that sadness, asking yourself, why am I sad? How can I heal this sadness? And where is this sadness coming from? You know, your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. This is dancing. Run away as fast as you can. No longer running away from your problems, facing it head on, knowing that you have a calling, knowing that you have a reason for going through every single thing that you have been through, 1717 AA Abundance. This is knowing that all of that stuff that you have been through has been put in your way to pave a way for you to be a strong as spiritual being okay your rank has been earned this is not something that was just given to you you didn't just come here old so and just be like okay here's all this knowledge you have acquired this knowledge through all of that pain through all of that suffering through all of that hurt you have acquired the tools that you need to move forward pisces like it's just kind of like this is yours this is your golden opportunity. This has been put here for you at this point. Okay? Period. I hope you guys take this opportunity. And I hope you guys enjoy this reading. Okay? Again, I am taking personal readings. You guys can catch at me at Money Sign Caprice Cooks. You can also email me or Apple Pay me at CapriceCooks at All right, y'all? I'm out of here.